so today I'm going to show you how to make that famous uh, cheesy rice and chicken casserole that everyone loves but without some of the ingredients you might normally have. Um, and basically I'm going to show you how to wing it if you don't have what you want but you're really wanting to eat that casserole. So come along and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I started out and I just cooked some chicken as you can see. Uh, all I did was saute it in some salt, pepper, and olive oil, and then I used the same pan and put some olive oil in that pan and put some cut up onions in it until they turned brown. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our own sauce, since I don't have any of the sauces that you would normally put in this type of dish. So I'm going to put about... Eh, that's probably about two cups of milk in there. You want to leave everything in the pan because that's going to add the flavor. Okay, I have about a third of a container of reduced fat sour cream. So I'm going to put that in there. Alright, and I like things to be a little spicy. So I'm going to put some cayenne pepper in there. Be careful if you use cayenne though because I've definitely winged it before where you, I use too much and it gets real spicy. So probably putting about an uh, eighth of a teaspoon in there. I'm just going to mix this around until I start to see the consistency and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I mixed that around, made sure to get all the stuff off the bottom of the pan to add the flavor. Now I'm just going to dump some green beans in there, some fresh green beans to make them cook. about a pound in my what I'm doing you guys can do whatever you want if you don't have green beans you could always use broccoli you could use carrots uh, you could pretty much experiment with any sort of vegetable that you wanted uh, also for the sauce if you don't have sour cream you could always just use straight milk if you wanted to most people have that on hand um, if you don't want to do that you could always use some Greek yogurt or just plain yogurt that could work. Um, basically, you're just trying to get a creamy sauce like you would normally be using with a like cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup that traditionally goes in this type of dish. So if you're like me at all, then you might not feel like cutting all your green beans totally in half. Uh, that's why the show's called Winging It. So I some of them I cut and some of them I didn't. So you can do it however you want. If you want to take the time to cut them, go for it. If not, just let it be and keep cooking. In the back, my rice is done, so I'm going to dump my rice into this pot and let it all simmer together for probably about 15 minutes, I would guess. I'm just going to watch it until the green beans get soft. So once you get all your green beans nice and soft, then you're going to come over and just cut up your chicken however you like. I'm just going to cut it this thin, and I'm going to put all my chicken inside of this dish. Okay, so once your green beans are nice and bright green, means they're done, so then you can add some cheese to it. Uh, I actually ended up adding some more milk to mine uh, because it didn't have enough moisture for the amount of volume that I was making. So you can play with it a little bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, just going to put some cheese in there. You can either put it on top and put it in the oven, it'll be more like that traditional casserole. And I don't really have time for that, so I'm just going to dump a bag in there. I'm just going to dump. I've got on hand, looks like here, a pizza blend, which is just cheddar and mozzarella. Uh, it's about eight ounces. I'm just going to put it in there and stir it around and make it taste really good. Uh, one way to ensure you always have cheese on hand is I always buy the shredded cheese and then I just put it in the freezer. That way I can literally wing it as I go, whatever ingredients I have on the hand, and I always have cheese because it's frozen. Uh, so that makes it a little easier. I will not recommend freezing a block of cheese, however, if you like fresh shredded, that's not going to work out. Uh, it generally tastes pretty nasty, so don't freeze blocks. But you okay, so I put a lid on this because I put some cheese on top after I stirred it in as well. And I'm just letting the cheese melt. Uh, Alright, so you can see the cheese melted, and now I'm just going to serve it up. There's my version of winging it with uh, cheesy and chicken and rice and green bean casserole. So enjoy, let me know what you experiment, and leave it in the comments. Have a good one.